In this video, we will walk through how to manage your cache using the cache input and cache history screens. This feature is only available for data users. If you do not have this option, contact Greenlight Support to change to the data plan. First, go to Cache on the menu bar and then select Cache Input. Choose a recent date on the calendar here and then click Apply. The driver option should be All, then click Go. This screen provides spaces for you to input the amount of coins counted, bills counted, and test vents for each service. For coin refills and refunds, you'll need to rely on notes from the driver. There is also a place to enter the number of tokens collected and their value in these fields. The card sales column here on the right is for all cashless purchases made at the machine. These values will be recorded by the green light application when the restock button is pressed on the device at the time of service. The card sales value is needed when calculating the product plus minus value for all sales in the machine. In this way, the application provides accountability for both cash and cashless sales. If you are using the quick pick feature of the green light application, the notes can be recorded on the pick sheets the driver takes to each machine. For more information, refer to the video on Quick Picks. The Cache History screen will allow you to see the different cache accountability values for each screen. Click Cache History here in the menu bar. On the calendar, we will select the first five days of the month and then click Go. We will click on the Location Place category to sort the information in ascending order based on location. Let's now look at the three columns on the right. The DEX Overshort column compares the cash counted to the DEX values from coins to box and bills to stacker adjusted by the coin refill amount thus comparing the amount of money in the money bay collected by the driver, the expected amount sent via DEX by the machine minus the coin value sent to refill the coin changer. Next is the meter overshort. To better understand this number, we need to drill down to the cash accountability report. Just click the dollar figure in any column. The numbers in the meter plus minus column are the difference of the total cash collected plus the refunds minus the meter sales. If you want to see refunds or any other number that makes up this calculation, you can click on the timestamp for the service visit here which will take you to the cash ticket details screen. We cover this screen on the cash ticket details video. This shows the total collected on this day. Subtracting the refunds and meter sales gives us the value in the meter overshort value. This means the driver collected this much more than the machine said it sold. This is a helpful way to track cash accountability for your machine. The last value here is the product overshort. This column displays the difference between the total collected plus refunds minus the product sales. Using the same example as before, we will take the total collected, add the refund amount, and subtract the product sales from that total. The result of this calculation is the product overshort. There are additional accountability reports under the Reports tab. Instructions on using these reports are included in a separate video for reports. For more assistance, contact Vennet at 1-800-833-4411 or email service at vennetusa.com. Thanks again for choosing Greenlight.